Good morning from Pulentua. We survived the storm last night, thank goodness. It is just around 7. We are only allowed to leave the, or the gate times are from 6.30 to 7 now. So just waiting for that to open and then we are going to hit the road up to Union's End this morning. Hopefully the road's okay and Rikus and I don't get stuck. But yeah, let's go. Rivers gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. Rivers gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. Rivers gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. Rivers gonna cry when you're. Rivers gonna cry when you're. Rivers gonna cry when you're gone.
after last night's rain, we had a lot of water on the road. And at some spots, the road was pretty muddy. But luckily, at every bad piece of road, there was another stretch of road going around the bad bit. So fortunately, Ricky and I didn't get stuck. We arrived at Union's End picnic site and were surprised with beautiful scenery and a flushing toilet. It was Rikas and my turn to make brunch, so we boiled some water for an amazing cup of coffee, started a fire for some sausages, got out our eggs that almost didn't make it thanks to the jackal, and cooked up some vegan mint. Alright, so we just had a like a break here at Union's End picnic site. Um, it was <coughs> lovely, we made a little breakfast wrap. Really yummy, eh, Rick? Yeah. So there's lots of line tracks around the picnic site, which is pretty cool because it must be last night slash this morning yeah. because the ground is like a fresh canvas now with the, after the rain everything is clean there's no tracks on the ground except like the fresh ones which is pretty cool so we are just quickly going to go to the end of Union's End the end of the Khalakhari the end of the Khalakhari and go check it out and see what we can find happy Ricky yeah, tummy full I'm happy Hot. Hot, yeah. Our friends, the corrugations again. But anyway, go. Let's go and see what we can find there at the end of the Khalakhari. Right, so we are just visiting Union's End quickly. We are just leaving something in the in the little box here. We are going to leave a Easter egg, an Easter egg. An Easter egg. An Easter egg. Yeah, we are going to leave a, a little Easter egg in the box. And if any of you come here, you're going to have an Easter egg. Enjoy an Easter egg. I don't know how nice it will be by then because then um, might be a bit melted. I yeah, don't know. Melted Easter egg. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So over in that direction, over there, is Pretoria, about 770 k's. Then just a bit in that direction is Gavarone, another 360 k's, and then all the way that way is Ventuk, 550 k's. All right. So there goes our little Easter egg. Enjoy, whoever finds it. We came across this flock of ostriches on our way back to Polenswa. We counted 60 ostriches walking in a row. I've never seen such a big group of ostriches in my life. to camp to the amazing smell of poiki on the fire and Rikas decided to test out a time lapse or two.
Right, love, what are you drinking? Um, Rick's very, very classy. Um, lots of people will not be impressed at what I'm drinking tonight. Look at this wine. <laughs> what? I'm very classy. I was scared, my, um, I, I usually don't drink wine out of a box, but I was just scared it's going to break. So, you, you know, new experiences. And it's going to taste just as good. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's going to be like a milkshake wine. It has so many corrugations. <laughs> It's not bad. Like it's a, good. It's bubbly. <laughs> After the corrugations, it might be bubbly. Champagne. <laughs> now this is a lot more classy than box wine. Cheers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, Hans Fave, <laughs> welcome to the inaugural uh, Tama Tama Bowls for Lenswa <laughs> Open. We're going to play a five hole, five hole, five hole bowls, Tama Tama. Uh, chameleon. Yeah, <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, thank you, bye. Okay, <laughs> that's our six. It's not And that's six balls. And then is the real one, but it's all as golf, ne? You have five pikes with flaggies on the top, long ones, short ones, up the end, up the end. Yeah, the old one, the first one, you have to first play. Okay. Okay. Is that right? Let the games begin. <laughs> It was Vian's parents' turn to make supper, and they decided to throw in some entertainment. Tama Tama golf balls. This might be one of my fondest memories of the trip. All right, Rex. Our second last evening. Yeah. yeah. What a, what a day. What an evening. Oh, it was so lovely. Yeah. The clouds started building up, and we watched a beautiful um, lightning show, but it was quite far away. Mm. And then we were worried, so we quickly made Poiki course and quickly washed yeah. up and quickly packed away. We are. We were worried it's going to be the same as last night, but it luckily wasn't. It just all went away. And yeah. It's just calm now. And we had a, a lovely evening. We, had, we played some Tama Bowls or Tama it, Bowls Golf. Tama, I think um, in English it's called uh, Desert Melon. It I think like, we think so. We think so. Yeah. You can comment down below if you know the real name. It's like those, looks like a watermelon, but it's the little round ones that you find yeah, in the Khalafari. Yeah. So, yeah, Tama. And then we played bowls with them. Yeah, Vian's dad was really clever with yeah. that idea. It was so much fun. Come, yeah. come and play Tama yet? Yeah. At Bulain Tsua. Tama Bowls Golf. Yeah. <laughs> and if you played Tama, Tama um, Bowls Golf or whatever, um, tag us. Yeah. <laughs> Tell yeah, us your story. Yeah. And then we had a lovely uh, Gemsbok Poiki. Mm. It was amazing. Very nice. And, uh, drank some lovely red wine. Mm. And uh, it's quite early now. It's about nine o'clock now. It's pitch black dark outside yeah, with stars lovely are stars out uh, took some lovely star photos mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna have a brilliant night's sleep mm, now so compared to last night here oh, gonna pass out yeah. now and sleep i'm not gonna sleep on the car's seat yeah 
going to be Well, let's mate. hope so. Although, there is some lightning far away, but yeah. I think it's gone. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's gone. But just, let's hope, it's, hope we don't end up in the car game yeah. tonight. But just a footnote, it was quite comfortable. It was quite comfortable. <laughs> it wasn't bad. We both uh, had a little snore. Yeah, <laughs> we, <we've, laughs> you passed out like this in yeah. the car. We, uh, we, we got back to the tent, but just after 11. Yeah, it was, we were just in the car for just over an hour. Yeah, it felt like two days. <laughs> yeah, it was a lightning show last yeah, night. Yeah, it was yeah. actually quite incredible to watch yeah. from the car. No, it was good. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah. So, uh, our last day at Polenza tomorrow. We'll see you guys mm -hmm. tomorrow bright and early. Yeah. And see how it goes. No. Okay. All right. Press all the buttons then. See you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Bye. Thank you for watching day eight of our Khalakhari trip. We had such a special day and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If we misidentified any bird, please drop us a comment correcting us. We are always willing to learn. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We will see you in the next vlog. Tip number one, don't let anything fall. <laughs> Note the, to self. It's full of sand. Need a brush. <laughs>